Hey loves, how's it going? Today we are going to do a clean with me and I am going to clean my least favorite room which is the bathroom and we're going to do some organization as well. These are some effective methods on what I use when it comes to cleaning the bathroom and I want to just share it with you. It's pretty simple to do and this is great if you're feeling overwhelmed, if you're feeling unmotivated, we're gonna get you cleaning. So let's get started. So the first thing I usually like to do is remove everything off the countertop, start fresh, and just bring that all into the center of the room or to the corner of the room and then we'll take care of that later. After that, what we're going to do is with a dry towel, you want to wipe off or vacuum all the dust that are on your countertops. After I wipe and dust off everything, it is now time to spray the countertops with an all-purpose cleaner or with a specialized cleaner. In my case, I have granite countertops, so I'm going to spray that with a special uh, granite cleaner. So I would spray everything down and I would let it sit for a couple of minutes. So by the time that I finish spraying every countertop in my bathroom, I go back to the first one and then I start wiping it. All right, so now we are going to work on the bathtub and this is my least favorite part is scrubbing and cleaning the bathtub. So the way I do this is I take a dry cloth and I just wipe off anything that um, is dry and that will come off easily with a dry cloth. So I always go over with a dry cloth first. After that, I'm going to take this shower cleaner that is a natural uh, shower cleaner and it's supposed to specialize in removing soap scum as you can see. And so I'm going to spray that all over my tub and I'm gonna let that sit. So while that is setting in the bathtub, what I'm going to do is wipe down the sinks. The sinks are pretty easy to do. All you have to do is spray an all-purpose cleaner. I like to use my DIY all-purpose cleaner. It is basically vinegar and some essential oils. And so I spray that down, disinfect it, and I, I wipe it with a sponge. After I finish cleaning my sinks, that's when I go back to the bathtub and I take that same sponge, I just rinse it out and then I just scrub the tub with the sponge. And this is where I remove some of the dirty surfaces. All right, so I am not done with the tub just yet. I am going to make a DIY paste so that way we can scrub off the stubborn stains. So for the paste, I am using baking soda and some peroxide. I mix that up into a paste-like consistency. There's no specific measurements for this. So with this paste, I am still able to tackle and scrub off any of the stubborn uh, dirt and stains that are still in the tub. For the mirror, what I like to do is I go over it with a dry towel and with everything I clean, I always go over with a dry towel first. I try to get all that dust off and then after that, I go in with my glass spray. This is a eco-friendly glass spray cleaner by Method and I'm just spraying the surface of the glass with this. And then I go in with another clean towel or a clean side of the towel and then I just wipe off any of the um, prints or anything that's on the mirror. So I have a pretty specific order that I like to do when it comes to cleaning the bathroom. I take care of everything above first and then I will take care of the toilet last. So what we're doing here now is we're going back to all the things that we took off the countertops, everything that are in the cabinets. We're gonna take that those out and we're going to start throwing things that we haven't been using. You know, getting rid of half used things or seeing what you can donate. But most of the things in the bathroom Bathroom, I usually throw away just because you know and I would recycle where I can but most of the things in the bathroom are just like accumulated unnecessary things that you tend to collect over the year and it's amazing how much you can collect so this part here is pretty easy to forget and that is to wipe off all the items that are in the tub around the sink, uh, wipe off all the scums and the bottom and the top, just wipe them off nice and clean so they can look new again when you place them back in your tub or around your sink. 
All right, so after consolidating, organizing all the things in your cabinets, all the things that were on your countertop and getting rid of things that you don't need anymore, it is now time to put them all in their rightful place. So with this right here, this big thing, this big heavy acrylic uh, display, this is filled with my face mask. And these were items that were sent to me. So what I'm doing is I'm just reorganizing it, taking things that uh, don't belong in here out because you know, over the years you just tend to put things anywhere. I got a little tempted to try out a face mask and that is what I'm using here. I don't exactly remember what this face mask is, but it felt pretty good and refreshing on my face. <laughs> All right, so the order that I recommend for you to go by when it comes to cleaning the bathroom is start from the top and then work your way around the bathroom, leaving the toilet last. So after we dust everything down onto the floor, it is now time to, you know, vacuum that or sweep it out. And after we pick up all the dust through the vacuum, uh, it's now time to wipe the floor. So I like to use my DIY vinegar spray to disinfect the floor. I just spray that all over the floor and then I use my sweeper with my uh, reusable cloth and I just wipe off all of that yuckiness. All right, so we saved the best for last. And again, the order that I usually like to go by is I do a dry wipe. And so I dry wipe this toilet already with some tissues. And I usually like to use disposable paper towel or something when it comes to cleaning the toilet because you don't want to keep any of that. Um, so I am spraying this toilet down with some disinfecting vinegar spray, my DIY spray that I made. And this was, uh, I'm, I have a DIY on this, which I will try to link on the bottom of this video. If I forget, please do remind me. So after spraying and disinfecting this toilet, I am wiping it down all around inside everything. I pretty much wipe around on the outside first, the exterior, and then I wipe the inside and then throw away uh, the paper towel. After I finish wiping the toilet, then that's when I would clean the floor, the surrounding area around it. So my very last step is to polish all the hardware. And again, I would go over with a dry cloth. I don't really need to use sprays often, but if I do, I would just use the shower uh, scum, scum remover spray. I think that's what it is. And that's pretty much it. And my bathroom is nice and clean. To review everything, basically what I recommend for you to do, the first three things is to take off all the items on your countertops, in your cabinets, out into the open, put it in a corner or in the center of your room. And then you want to dust everything off. After you dust everything off, you want to wipe it. And I recommend for you to start from the top down to the bottom start from the sink over to the bathtub and then lastly take care of the toilet and that is pretty much it that is how I clean my bathroom in the most effective way and I hope that you enjoy my tips if you do please comment below let me know what your thoughts are and if you do have any tips to share with me I would love to know some of your creative ways in cleaning and organizing um, bathrooms are usually not fun but you know we can we can inspire and motivate each other to clean our bathrooms uh, one bathroom at a time <laughs> All right, that is it for today. I really enjoy creating today's video. And if you enjoy the video, please support by giving this video a thumbs up. Other than that, let me know what other cleaning videos you would like to see. Or if you do have any tips that you want to share with the rest of us, make sure to comment below this video. Again, thank you for spending today with me. And I hope to see you next week. Love you. Ciao.